Hello everyone. I hope you are all having a fun crafty YouTubing day. So I am going to start working with my Stamperia Passion that I have been um, just itching to start working with. So that is the paper I am working with. I am using some of the chipboard and again I got this from my in my design team package and this is a pretty thick chipboard so i'm going to use that i am also using the 65 pound cardstock in white um this is 110 pound and it's a, it's white dove but i mean it doesn't exactly match but we're going to use it anyway so I have already cut my pieces. This is the spine of the album that I am going to make. It, it, it is a three inch spine. So the album is eight by eight. And this right here is the um, acetate. It's the Cora acetate that you can get through ASC. And it has a protective film on the front and on the back so it doesn't, you know, so your acetate doesn't um, scratch up. And let me pull this out or up. There we go. And see it is, uh, it's really, it's beautiful. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty thick acetate. This is my front cover and my back cover. Okay, and then I've already cut a piece of, they call this uh, Eco Piel. It's a synthetic leather. So this is going to, I've already marked for what I'm gonna use, uh, where I'm gonna put my pieces. This is going to wrap the spine of my mini album. So it's going to go this way right here, okay? Now, I went ahead and uh, bought the Cora. It's called Cola. It's glue, okay? So I figured, you know, that they, I, I see uh, some of the ladies use this all the time. So I'm hoping that it's going to work. Okay, guys, I made a mess trying to open this um, jar of glue. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and cover the back spine with the, um, this adhesive. It's supposed to be really good stuff. So let me fold this back a little bit. I don't want to take the top off. So I'm going to cover the spine with this. It looks like I've had I have some bleed through on the color of the chipboard. I know my brush was clean and I see red on here so we'll see what this looks like in the end so like I said I've already marked my space where I'm going to put my uh, chipboard and I want it to be even because the sides or acetate two inch yeah that's what i had put on there on my notes two inch so i got that one on there i'm going to flip it over press down isn't that pretty all right guys i hope that's down i pressed it down for a little bit and hopefully it won't come up okay so next i am going to put glue on the um Echo leather itself, this is where the acetate is gonna go down. So I'm going to put it on the on the faux leather. And I hope this is going to hold acetate together. All right, so I'm not going to Put it on the acetate. Let me remove these protective. You know what? I'm not going to remove the entire thing. I'm just going to remove what I'm going to use. You know, space that I'm going to use. And 
and I'm going to um, leave a good gap there because I don't know I've never worked with this before and I don't know how much I exactly need I know with uh, paper and um, I know what I need with paper but I've never worked with this so I don't know how thick it actually gets if we have a little extra that's fine that is not a problem All right, guys, I hope that, you know, stays there and goes down well. Let me cut this. Let me leave that on there for now. Let me try the other side. And these are eight by eight, so the side doesn't matter. All right, guys, actually, that's really good. really good ad adhesive okay so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to fold this over to uh, wrap the top and bottom okay so I am once again going to put some adhesive some of this glue Maybe a little too much right on the edge You know what? I like that adhesive. Oh my goodness, I really do. Oh my goodness, guys. I am really impressed with these products i've never i've used other cora products but i had never used this it doesn't have that furry back the way the ones we get from uh hobby lobby does it has a slick back and it, it's not super super thick see how that is it's not super thick so when we fold it, when I folded it, it folded up nicely. It doesn't have that look on the spine where it's, you know, kind of wavy, wrinkly. And I like that. That adhesive really grabbed on really super well. I am really impressed. Seriously, guys, I am super duper impressed. I want to remove the protective film just so I could see it, but no, because then it's gonna get all scratched up before I even finish. But just so you know, guys, look at that. It is adhered. I, it doesn't matter if these get scratched up because they're gonna get covered up by the, um, by the spine piece. But I am super duper impressed. Oh my gosh. I am loving it so far, guys. Okay, now I'm going to work on the spine. First of all, I'm going to go uh, wash off my brush. And I am I am just... Oops. I am super impressed. Goodness, I really like that. Okay, guys, let me get uh, the material for my spine. And I will be right back. All right, guys, so I have cut white 65 pound white cardstock at seven and five eighths wide by uh, 11 inches uh, long. So we are going to score this, although we need to, this is going to cover the inside part here. So I need to leave two inches and a start at two inches because that is how wide 
my margin is here. So two inches, start at two inches. This is going to have five pages, so we are going to score every half inch. So this is where this is going to go on that fold. The first two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, all the way to nine and a half. And we will probably have to add a piece to this to cover the um, inside that inside margin. This is going to be our first space. We're not going to fold that one in. This is going to go right here. So our first page starts on that second line. So fold that one down. Fold. Let me show you what I need to do here. going to be for our first page and then we skip the next one and we fold up the next one fold it this way page number two so I'm going to continue to fold these and I'll be right back okay guys I have all my folds I did go ahead and score another line right here on that last half inch so this is going to go this way right here. And if you can, you can see that my score lines will match up with the gussets here. So I don't have enough paper here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut right inside this half inch right here. And then I am going to glue another piece right on the top to make it extend the two inches, but I don't want it, you know, real bulky. So I'm going to cut off the, the, um, excess. I have cut this one to fit right over this piece right here. And that'll make my gusset. Yes. Okay. So that should fit over my mini album or the spine of the album. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue these down together like that so it will stay this way okay let me glue this down first guys i'm going to use the 3 8 inch tape to put on here before the wet glue i'm going to go ahead and use it on the back so i'm going to use that as well but I'm also going to put some glue on there because it is Texas. So I'm going to put it right up against, right up against the score line. So there is that. I've added my adhesive to the back, my double-sided tape. I'm going to remove the tape. Add some glue. Close that up. And that becomes my first piece for my page. That's where my first page is going to go. And I'm going to continue this until I have all five gussets made. Okay, so 
So I'm going to fold that. I have glued all my gussets together and that is where my pages are going to go. One, two, three, four, five. So we're good on that. And then I've got about two and a half inches on each side. Now this does not have to be perfect on the, um, on the book because I'm going to put something there anyway. So it does have to be centered on my spine though. So it looks like it's going to fit okay. If I have to cut a little bit, I will because I don't want it to extend out because then it will show. But at this point, it doesn't look like it's going to. I just have to be careful. I may cut this one a little bit. I just have to be careful not to have it extend on the outside because then we we won't see it, but I would rather it not be extended out. If there's going to be an imperfection. I'd rather it be on the inside. So I am going to trim this down just about an eighth of an inch. And there's my half inch guide. So this one is hidden under that, that piece that I glued on there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove all the adhesive I put on the back. I'm going to use the um, the Cora adhesive instead of my regular adhesive that I normally use. And I'm going to spread it on the back because this is acetate. I wanna make sure it's gonna stick and it seems like this is really, really good adhesive. So I'm going to use that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this glue down in the book itself. All right, guys, I put the glue on my uh, album instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to place this down as evenly as I can. I hope you guys can see. I need to see what I'm doing. All right, guys, my spine is on. And I was so mad at myself. I poked a hole. I think I'm gonna have to work it a little bit longer just to make sure that it's gonna go down. But I poked a hole on, I was trying to, I, pr I guess I pressed too hard and I was trying to go fast because of the video, but just be gentle with it. I will figure something out with that. It went down nicely, guys. Let me see. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. <clears throat> Let's look at the other side. It's very nice. I did get a little bit of adhesive on here. Very, very nice, guys. Look at that. Oh, I like it. Okay, so that is all I am going to do for today. In the next video, we are going to prepare the pages and um, get them put into the album. But overall, I am happy with the turnout. I highly, highly recommend this glue, guys. Oh, this stuff is amazing. I, I highly recommend it. I course um that's gonna bug me to no end but i'm gonna have to figure something out but overall it is great great adhesive i love it i think i'm gonna put some into a bottle and see if that works like the art glitter glue or the you know the other wet adhesives um and see if it works just as good it's a little thick so i i'm not sure that it's gonna work like the other ones but I love it. As long as you spread it out, I, you know, it's going to do good. I think, um, you know, this is going to be fine because like I said, it's going to have something right here on the sides. I'm not worried about that. So there you go, guys. I am so super excited on the first 
Hearts photo album. And um, yeah, hope you follow along and uh, are ready for part two. So on that note, I will talk to you guys later. We will see you in part two of this Stamperia Passion photo album. It's an eight by eight. I love the size. And we will talk to everyone later. Have a great day, guys. Thanks a lot.